got that right. New content and a new update for Roblox stores does mean more hidden secrets and content for the game. But it also means that there are now even more unsolved mysteries deep within the game. These are five unsolved mysteries within the Doors Hotel Plus update. Think you can solve these? Comment down below and let's get cracking. Number one, mystery claws. I know what you may be thinking. What exactly do I mean when I say that mystery claw marks were uncovered within the doors update? Some random bear marks? Well, not exactly. During the later stages of the game, especially right around door 60 and 80, we can notice the atmosphere of these rooms start to get a lot more aggressive and honestly, quite scary as well. Broken boards all over the ground, whole chunks of the wall being torn apart, but also, we do have these random claw marks being shown on various walls, and for some reason, they are always shown with three long straight marks. Now yes, most of these rooms are going to be in state of disarray, but why exactly are these random claw markings on the wall? If we take a look at the list of entities within the game, none of them really have distinctive large claws big enough to fit the mystery making criteria. I mean, Figure and Seek Sands are both rounded off, Bob's skeleton hands are too brittle and would break, and all the other entities don't really have anything that would fit the bill. Except for one entity. And yes, that is going to be El Globino. How many fingers does this little entity have? You got it! He has three fingers! And there are also three marks on the wall as well. So we do have a match on which entity might have caused these marks. And probably even all the destruction within the room. But now the question is... What happened to cause El Globino to do all of this damage? Did he get mad and turn into a beast with the other entities? But even within the Jeff shop itself, we can notice that there is some damage being shown in the corners of the room. So you better ask Bob, because apparently he'd tell you if he was still alive. Number 2, Skeleton. Of course, also within room 52 where Jeff's shop relies, there is yet another entity friend chilling along with El Globino and this is none other than Bob the Skeleton. We first saw Bob in a sneak peek clip a while ago and have mentioned that this entity may have been an old hotel worker that could have been trapped all these decades ago. As El Globino mentions, Bob has apparently been at the Doors Hotel for a very long time now, especially since they have seen pretty much everything. Now this is when things get crazy. Deep within the game of the rooms, there is an office cubicle that can be found with a name tag that says Bob on it. Now why would there be such a cubicle with this name? Well, duh. This highly suggests that Bob was at one point an office worker and helped to manage the hotel. Now the big mystery is what happened to Bob that has his corpse being left here. Did the entities try and leave him hostage in order to force him to be friends with them? It's arguably one of the biggest mysteries right now, but at least you can interact with them if you really want to do that. Number 3, Interdimension. This one's crazy, but we all know just how creepy and weird the Doors Hotel can really be. But more specifically, we have to talk about the paintings. Most of the paintings within the game are cool, but they don't really do anything. The game just tells you what they are and that's fine and dandy, but this doesn't happen with Whoa. every single painting. With the Seek paintings that spawn during the Seek crescendo, if you try to interact with the blob of eyes, it will say that this painting actually does not exist. What the heck do you mean by that, Doors? I mean the painting is literally right in front of us. It's even crazier 
especially because within the secret room around room 60, there is this painting of what appears to be a yellow shining star on it, perhaps a resemblance that of curious light or guiding light. If you also try to interact with this, it says that it does not exist as well. This occurrence does lead into deeper questions regarding about the game, especially whether or not the whole experience is even real, or that of a magical spell. There's not too much explanation for these said paintings to not exist, especially if they are right in front of you, but it really does make you wonder. Number 4, Seat Ending It doesn't really take a brain to know this, but Seek's eyes always spawn and show up on the walls when there is a chase about to happen a couple rooms down. But surprisingly, we were able to find Seek's eyes in a very unusual spot thanks to the classified doors files. Apparently, where the ending elevator cutscene happens, if players look above, they can find a bunch of random Seek eyes just casually floating about. Um, why are these eyes here, especially if there's no sign of Seek or his chase? Could it be a reference to Floor 2 where it could open up with a chase of its own? Honestly, we have no idea. It's nothing more than a major mystery at this point. Number 5, Door A1001. As we've explained in the past, there are only 100 official doors within the game, but there is a door 101 within the files of the game, presumably as a placeholder for Floor 2 when it comes out. We do know that within the rooms, there are a combined total of 1,000 A rooms to go through in order to reach the X-ray scanner at the end. But Guess what? Yes, the rooms also has an A1001 door as well, just casually hanging out in the void. Now why exactly is this door here? At least door 101 makes sense, especially since the developers are looking to create a floor 2 update in the coming months, but door A1001? Are they looking to add in an extra 1000 rooms as a part 2 sector? That would just be overkill to be honest, but it is important to mention, especially for the A1000 badge, that there are a series of question marks after this large number. This does have the community wondering if more rooms are going to be added, but I guess we'd have to wait and see what the developers have in store for plans. Of course, we do have many minor mysteries lying about, such as an update to the awesome Tony statue and how they are count uploaded assets of a new secret entity indoors, and also behind the usage of the shears as they are currently not playable within the game's update. I'm sure more and more mysteries are going to be solved, especially within the coming days. But what do you guys think happened within some of these rooms, or even to Bob as well? Let us know down in the comments below, and of course, take care.